Tom Gozlowski and Andrew Williams here with you on 104.5 The Team and 104.5 The Team.com. And joining us on the phone, this guy's going to be taking on Cody Fister at UFC Fight Night 80 on Thursday, December 10th. Sage Northcutt. And Sage, just last week, UFC President Dana White said this about you on ESPN Radio on 104.5 The Team on the Dan Lebitard Show. This kid, Sage Northcutt. This kid, Sage Northcutt. There's a show that I, I, we just started a new show called Dana White Looking for a Fight. It's on YouTube if you didn't see it. We found Sage Northcutt, and uh, he came in to fight in the UFC. We brought him in, and the kid looked like an absolute beast. Hey, Sage, any added pressure when the boss UFC is Dana White says you are an absolute beast in the octagon? No, actually, that's that's so incredible. That's so nice of him to say that, and I really appreciate that. So, so. It, it doesn't really add pressure on you. It just makes you want to go out there and, and, and show everything that you have and everything that you can put forth to the table and, and do in the octagon. So I'm just looking forward to showing what I can do this Thursday night on December 10th in the octagon, and, and I'm excited for it. What type of advice has Dana White given you early on in your career? Mr. White has given me the advice to take one fight at a time, and so has not only him, it's, it's everybody also. Like, for instance, Paige Van Zandt has told me the same thing, to take one fight at a time, not try to rush things, and I'm sure that's how it is, and that's how every fighter should get, get the chance to be able to do that is, is taking one fight slowly. That way they can, they can get used to everything, get the feeling of fighting for the UFC because the UFC is so incredible, and, and just getting used to the octagon. So I'm thankful for the opportunity that I'm getting to fight already again, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do out there. Sage, I love the Mr. White. What a lot of people might not know that's listening to this right now, you're 19 years old, only 19. What is life like as a 19-year-old UFC fighter? Oh, thanks. So as a 19-year-old UFC fighter, it obviously has to be different from the, from the average or the normal UFC fighter just because I'm currently the youngest person in the UFC. But also, I don't know about most fighters, but I'm also taking school at the same time. So I'm enrolled at Texas A&M University in College Station, Texas, and I'm studying to be a petroleum engineer at the same time while I'm while wow. I'm fighting for the UFC. So, I would think that has to be a little bit different than than uh, the normal fighter. This Thursday, this guy is going to be stepping in the octagon to fight Cody Fister at UFC Fight Night 80. Sage Northcutt and Sage Fister's been running his mouth a bit, accusing you of using performance enhancing drugs. Do you have any uh, reply to the accusations of Fister? Sure, yes, sir. So, first, I just want to say thank you. And if I could tell him thank you, I would, because that's, that's very nice of him to say that, and that's, that's a big compliment to me. So that makes me feel good if you think so. And, and I've actually been tested not only for the UFC. I've been tested three times by USADA and one time by the Boxing Commission for, for the UFC, and that's been the past few months since my UFC debut. And not only that, just, just getting tested at 6 o'clock in the morning, too, having you saw to come to my house and take blood and urine samples and, and everything. So I know, I know how hard I've worked for everything that I've been able to achieve and, and, and where I've come in life. I've been dieting for 15 years. So I take it as a big compliment. And even, even before the UFC, fighting, fighting for legacy and, and, fight, and wrestling inside high school was my senior year. I also got tested from high school and, and every single year that I did sports and so I just think it's a big compliment. And if you think I this tell is, him thank you. Sorry. If you think this is random why he's getting accused of steroids, look at this guy. He is cut up. <laughs> You're he is jacked, more, man. He is absolutely <laughs> jacked. He looks like a guy that could be in a Bond movie. I saw you did some training with GSP. How's that been? How's your training camp going so far? Thanks, guys. So I got to train with GSP inside TriStar and that that was an amazing experience. He's such an awesome guy. He's so friendly, and he's an incredible athlete. So that was incredible. I got to go. I got the chance to be able to go down and train at TriStar for about a week, one week, and then I actually came back because I only had it planned to stay for a week since I had schoolwork for Texas A and M for my major for petroleum engineering. So, like right now, for instance, I'm actually studying for final exams, and I have a final exam. I believe uh, either two or three days after my fight coming up this Thursday on December 10th. So. I'm just getting prepared for that and, and ready to take that. And, and uh, at the same time, while I'm, I'm training and getting ready for my fight. So the real question is, what's going to be harder? Your final exams are fighting Cody Fister. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. So hopefully I always look to go out there inside the octagon, along with all my previous fights, to go out there and finish my opponent as quickly as possible. So, 
So that's what I'm looking to do, not only this time, but that's how it was for my previous fight, too, and, and even my UFC debut. So I'm looking to show that, and, and, and I'm getting excited. I'm sure that my final exam, I should be well-studied for that, so, so I should be ready for both. <laughs> Sage, you touched on it. You're the youngest fighter on the UFC roster. You finished five of your six fights in a round one. Are we going to see a round one finish again Thursday night? No, I'm going out there to finish my opponent as quickly as possible, so I can't, I can't say if I'm going to finish in, in this round or this round or this round, but, but I'm doing my best to go out there to finish my opponent So, so and also put on a great show for the audience. And I know that's super important. The audience is coming, coming to not only watch me fight, but all the other awesome, incredible UFC fighters this night, Friday night, and Saturday night, all three of the events. So I'm just looking forward to putting on a great show and, and do my best to finish my opponent. Sage, being 19 years old, are you able to get into all the Vegas clubs? <laughs> you know, I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a big enough party somehow to figure it out in Vegas if you get a big fight win this Thursday at UFC Fight Night 80. This guy will be taking on Cody Fister. In the Octagon, follow him on Twitter, at Sage Northcutt. Sage Northcutt. Sage, you got a great future ahead of you. Keep up the fantastic work. You're an absolute treat, and we hope to talk again soon. Take care, man. All right, thanks for having me.